awesome. So you guys have mastered the principles of masterminds and leveraging amazing, amazing, powerful groups of other people to create tremendous levels of success in your life. And that is awesome. Now we're gonna move into a more personal side, looking at sex transmutation and the insane importance of everything you can use in this chapter to fundamentally shift your personal and professional life and grow all aspects of your success, to have massive impact and get closer and closer and closer to you finally achieve that overarching long-term goal. So with that said, let's go over to the computer and start to make it happen. Super powerful stuff here. Make sure you're taking notes. All right, so sex transmutation. First, we gotta start with transmute, right? So what's transmute mean? It means to change or transfer one element or form of energy into another. So when we look at sex transmutation, what we're looking at is we're taking the energy from sex, from relationships, and love, passion, and uh, romance, turning that, transmuting that into fuel, transmuting it into energy, transmuting it into enthusiasm for your overarching long-term goal. So that's the power here, and that's what we're gonna develop here, is this insane way to use the most powerful emotion possible, and we'll develop that throughout this module and this little section of our training, which is super, super cool. So with that said, let's get into it. Emotion of sex brings into being a state of mind. Now, a lot of people don't focus on it, don't think about it. People don't talk about sex a lot, but here's the deal. sex has behind it the possibility of three constructive potentials. So let's get through it. Number one in a nice passionate red. Obviously, the perpetuation of mankind, humankind. Very powerful stuff, pretty baseline level. Number two is where it's actually pretty interesting. The maintenance of health is a therapeutic agency. Very, very powerful way to keep a quality body, keep a quality, balanced life. Very important to use this as a focus for whatever you're using. You know, you're working out, obviously, diet, um, find the for a body, maybe. That's all awesome stuff. But sex is just a huge part of it, and that's why, you know, you know, Tony, not Tony, uh, Tim, he talked a lot about it in that book, which is really freaking cool. Um, so more on that. I think in the journal membership area, and I can do the book review below. But three, this is the most powerful concept. And it's the idea that sex transforms mediocrity into genius through transmutation. That's what we're gonna focus on. That's the most powerful, powerful image you can get from this. It's very simple, very easily explained. And it means switching the mind from thoughts of physical expression, right? Switching the emotions to thoughts of some other nature. This is the way where you're transferring this love over here, transferring the sex, into thoughts focused towards your overarching long-term goals to create massive success in your life. Super powerful concept. So, let's go into it. First things first, right? Sex is the most powerful human desire. When driven by this desire, People develop keenness of imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creative ability unknown to them at other time. Now imagine if you just have this one part of your life that could instantly increase your courage. It could instantly increase your keenness. It could instantly increase your advantages in the marketplace. All because you focus on this one ability to grow, Expand, 
and have massive impact on everything that you do. Very powerful concept. And it's super important, especially for this part here, imagination. We've talked about the creative imagination before versus the synthetic imagination. Synthetic imagination. We're going to look at some examples in just a moment where the creative imagination is exponentially more stimulated by sexual impulses and the emotions created from that over traditional means of thinking and, and you know, inventing or, or getting ideas out of your head because you can connect to that subconscious, you connect to that infinite intelligence. Increase your willpower without a doubt because it gives you total control over your life. So if you're interested in increasing your persistence, increasing all these amazing, amazing skills and elements of your life, well then you are in the right place. So with that said, let's go on, make it happen. So strong and impelling is the desire for sexual contact. The people freely run the risk of life and reputation to indulge in it. So if you can harness and redirect these emotions along other lines, the positive attributes of this motivating force can be used as powerful, powerful ways to create literature, art, technology, any profession or calling, <coughs> and most significantly is the accumulation of riches. So with that said, let's look at the transmutation part. Now, transmutation of sex energy. Transmutation of sex energy. Well, what's it require? Well, it requires the exercise of willpower to be sure that the reward is worth the effort. You have to stay disciplined with it, right? Desire for sexual expression is inborn, natural. The desire cannot and should not do not suppress desire. You gotta give it an out look. Give it an outlet through which forms of expression can actually lead you to enrich your body. Bam, so powerful. Excuse me. Positive attributes come out, harness, redirect the energy. All of a sudden, this positive outlook allows you to enrich your body, your mind, your spirit. And if you don't give yourself this outlook, It'll seem outlets through purely physical channels, not the way you want to focus on it, right? There's this huge separation between just physical and emotional. And we're going to look at just a minute about why you've got to focus on that emotional side. Because that's where the most power comes from this transmutation principle. And it'll allow you to have the biggest growth in your life, the biggest impact in your life, and radically shortcut traditional means of success and traditional development patterns. Very cool stuff. He has a pretty nice example here. Um, he talks about a river, right? And if you have a river, and you put a dam in it, you know, block off the uh, expression of sexual desire, sexual, you know, energy. It can be controlled for a while, but eventually it's going to have to find somewhere to go. Uh, and the same is true for the emotion of sex. It can be submerged and controlled for a while, but its very nature causes it to be ever seeking a means of expression. The same thing with this river. Like this water's got to go somewhere. Maybe it evaporates. Maybe it seeps into the ground. Maybe it goes through a crack in the dam. Maybe it goes over the top of the dam. But eventually, it's going to build up, build up, and build up, and it's going to go. It's going to go somewhere. And the most powerful way to leverage a river is to have some sort of turbine, right? And that turbine generates hydroelectric power, but the turbine's just kind of like always going, right? Or going a lot of the time. So it's the idea that like you have to let this flow continue naturally and then just harness the power of the flow consistently and on a more gradual basis, rather than trying to build up and build up and build up and build up. 
because if you pour down like 10, if you just break down this dam, get rid of the dam, and only have this turbine, like all the water's gonna flow through it super fast at the beginning, but then the water level will die down to its natural level and it'll go back to its natural state. And you wanna stick at that natural state, you wanna be in that place. Because if it don't transmit your sexual urges into a creative, with a, through a creative effort, it'll find a less worthy outlet. Just like with this river example. If you don't find a worthy way to let the river flow, it's gonna seep in the ground, go through holes, go through cracks, evaporate, a less worthy outlet. The same thing applies through sexual transmutation. So discover a way to give your sex emotion an outlet through some form of creative effort. And with that single discovery, you'll lift yourself up to the status of genius. That's the power. That's the power. So let's look at some scientific research Hill did on the backgrounds of high achieving men. Um, and unfortunately, no similar studies have been made for women, but very powerful concepts here you can apply. Number one, men of the greatest achievement are those with highly developed sex natures. Bam, huge. Men who have learned the art of sex transmutation. I think he'll talk about it, or maybe I'm just making that up because I've read this so many times. Um, but I think it was like something like 95% of US presidents had a first lady, you know, they're married. And so correlation, not necessarily causation, but we're gonna keep developing this idea later. Just keep that in mind, like vast majority of uh, successful Men come from powerful families, powerful women, powerful spouses. Men who have learned the art of sex transmutation are those with the greatest achievements. All right, number two. The men who have accumulated great fortunes and achieved outstanding recognition in literature, art, industry, architecture, and the professions, they delivered outstanding value. Motivated by the influence of a woman. Bam, so powerful. Seriously, like take a minute and think of the most successful people you know and ask yourself, do they have a wife? Do they have a woman in their life that pushes them to another level? I've personally seen this so many times. Some of the people that have been major influences in my life, Grant Cardone has a wife, huge family guy. People like Dan Lott has a wife, huge family guy. Literally does a show with her. So many people, vast majority of them, they're with women. And it's all because of this power of sex transmutation. And we'll keep talking about it, uh, but it's so powerful. So with that said, we're gonna look at research behind these studies and some more biographies that have been available for over 2,000 years. Um, but whatever connection and whatever evidence that he'll look at Every single thing he looked at said that in the connection with the lives of men with great achievement were always women, indicated most convincingly that they possessed a highly developed sex nature. Motion of sex is an irresistible force. Against which there could be no such optimism or position, opposition is an immovable body. When driven by this emotion, men become gifted with a superpower for action. Understand that this truth, understand the truth, you will catch the significance of the statement that sex transmutation will lift one to a state of genius. Remember, action leads to wisdom, wisdom, leads to genius. Once you have your overarching long-term goal, once you have your secret formula, once you have your plan, plans right here, all you have to do is take action. By using emotions, and specifically sex emotions in your sex drive, is an irresistible force to 
exponentially increase the amount of action you take and the amount of plan, your plan that you can go through consistently on an ongoing basis, all you're going to do is increase success. All you're going to do is increase output. All you're going to do is increase the speed at which you reach your overarching long-term goal. And if that secret formula goal is something so big that it would fundamentally shift everything you know, then by extension, sex transmutation is so big that it can fundamentally shift everything you know. It's so powerful. It all comes from this ability to master the skill of sex transmutation. We're going to look at stimuli in just a moment. But first, Hill has a really great example here that's important to recognize and understand the significance of your sexuality, right? So he looks at the emotion of sex containing the secret of creative ability. And he was researching and researching and researching. And then he found this one thing that just took him off his guard and, and made him think. He had these bowls, right? And these bowls, I really hope I can draw a bowl. I'm really gonna try for you guys. I feel like his head would kind of be like that and he would, he would like be a bowl. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bowl. <laughs> now, the sex glands, whether in a man, whether in a beast, they are a major source of action. When a, this bowl was castrated, I'm gonna, just gonna, yeah, castrated, became as docile as a cow. Sex alterations of the man remove all fight that's in you. It removes all ability of action. Destroys drive. Sex alteration of the females, same effect. So much power comes from your emotional basis of sexual emotions. You can use them, transmute, and go towards your purpose. For the bull, his purpose was to be a wild bull, a cool guy. But as soon as he's castrated, you know, any animal castrated, it seriously messes him up. It sucks. It really sucks. Now think of that same mentality and apply it to yourself. If it's bad to suppress sexual emotions, then by extent it is good to express sexual emotions to an extent which we'll get to in just a sec. So to better understand this, we're going to look at the top 10 mind stimuli. That's how you can use them right now. Number one, huge number one, you guys know number one, it's the desire for sex expression without any question. Most powerful emotion, most powerful state of change you can have in your life and we'll keep developing it, keep developing it, super big. Number two is linked to that, right, and that's love. And we'll look in just a moment about how you can use love to control otherwise rowdy uh, emotions with sex. Number three, and this comes back to your secret formula, is a burning desire for fame, power, financial gain, money. You get the point, right? Number four, oh man, I'm telling you, this guy, Napoleon Hill, he wrote this book freaking 100 years ago when all they had were like those spinning wax rods and I guess maybe, I don't know if they had vinyl, I'm pretty sure they didn't have vinyl, but they might have. Um, music, music's huge. Change your state, right? Change your state to change your life. Bam, massive. Use music as a tool. It is an insanely valuable tool. Number five, you guys gotta see this coming. This is the stuff with like the MLP course. Everything comes down to this one concept, 
Friendship. Friendship between either those of the same sex or of opposite sex. So just friendship between all. Number six, this was last chapter, right? A mastermind alliance. Based on harmony, right? Based on harmony. Between two more people who ally themselves for spiritual or temporal advancement. Bam. Huge. Number seven's a little iffy, but it's super true, and it's mutual suffering, such as that experienced by people who are persecuted. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, number eight is auto suggestion. Massive, massive power in auto suggestion. That is the way to go 100%. Huge. Uh, nine is fear. You know, a lot of people, you look at financial markets, right? And they will see a stock going up and up and up and up and up. I thought I was going to write that in orange, but it didn't go to orange. And a lot of people, they'll see a stock at this price right here. And they might buy it, and if it goes down just a little bit, they'll freak out and sell it and panic, which is, you know, that's a stop loss. But if it goes up and up and up and up, they'll get greedy and they won't sell because people are so, I mean, you guys freaking know this, right? We'll do much, much more to avoid pain than to get a subsequent reward. And that's why if you look at a ton, 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 ton of marketing materials and uh, like sales letters, everything, at least for a vast majority, it's like 80% avoid pain, 20% benefit. Because you, people want to avoid pain more than they want to actually have a benefit in their lives, which is really crazy. But it's a basis of human psychology. It's a very fundamental, internalized human trait. It's this idea that fear of loss is ridiculously greater than fear of gain. And that's why, uh, than the desire to gain. So that's why if you look at like game shows, right? Like would you rather have a 50% chance of winning $500 or a 2% chance of winning a million dollars? It's like looking at averages and looking at or maybe a 1% chance of winning $100 million. And then you look at the average value of the worth of the prize if you kept doing it over and over and over. But a lot of people, right, they see 1% of $100 million is a million dollars. So if you did it 100 times, you get a million dollars. Same thing, 50% of $500 is $250. So if you did it 100 times, you would get 250, 2500, 25,000, right? So you're looking at 25,000 versus a million if you just keep doing it over and over. Statistically, there's higher probability, there's higher chances, there's higher level of success that'll come from the riskier option. And this is obviously, this applies to financial markets, right? But I'll get to that in just a moment. So you'll have people that focus on taking the lower amount of money because it's less risky, even though it also has a significantly lower upside. So it's this crazy idea of like, are you looking for more gains or are you trying to prevent losses? And vast majority of people are more focused on preventing losses, which makes sense, you know, especially in markets like for your long-term portfolio growth, it's always harder to recover from a loss since you have to have higher percent gains to recover from a loss to get to where you originally were which on paper sounds like it makes sense and it does make sense but if you're looking at like index investing like the stuff that just keeps going up and up and up and up and up over time even after crash it just keeps going back up it's, it's really like this long-term game um and a lot of people are like oh but wall street just tells you to look at the long-term game but it's like if you've got you know 40 years to retirement or 20 years till a savings goal or 10 years till you're done investing um, it just depends on your time horizon and I don't know I talk a whole lot more about this principle in chapter 35 and you can look at it where I look at there's a really great chart and you guys have probably seen the chart where it's like standard deviation bands of market returns versus bond returns and the variations and the probability of being positive over any given period of time given how long you're in the marketplace really really cool stuff um, so definitely make sure you read 
you know, chapter 35, 9 to noon. I'm sure you guys have it, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but that's a, that's, a good, that's a good principle to know. It's fear. Fear will drive people. Fear is a big drive. Um, and then number 10, uh, <laughs> uh, narcotics and alcohol. Now obviously, these are more like shorter term things. They can have a temporary increase in pleasure, temporary increase in output, temporary increase in energy. But these aren't sustainable for the long term. I mean, just not a appropriate way to make it happen. And we'll look at a couple examples of those um, soon. So, you got that down? Awesome, super cool stuff. We're gonna move on, see how we can get you to develop that genius. Because here's the deal. The desire for sex is the most powerful emotional trigger. Remember, emotions lead to actions on your plan, lead to results, lead to value. Value leads to both growth and money. It just steps up your internal vibrations and starts the wheels of physical action. And you can look at these in the book, it's on page 208, um, but this list, and you can just go back or whatever. Eight of these are natural and constructive. Two of them are destructive. Point is to make the best choice you can and use the best mind stimulate it. Increase, this is huge, right? This is what we're going for here. We wanna increase your mental vibrations. And this is the entire, entire principle, the entire concept uh, behind manifestation magic. And I think we talked about it before. And I manifestation magic. I share more about it over in the Jumbo membership area. This is a very powerful training. Um, I'll have like my review of it or a link to it or something amazing, amazing around this video. Um, this is a really powerful, powerful way. It uses the power of sound, the power of vibrations in music tones to actually increase your mental vibrations. So once you increase your mental vibrations, you increase your growth, you increase mind stimulation to get to that creative, creative imagination, imagination, which, which is, is super, 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 super powerful, powerful. Overcome, overcome your problems, find the answers, answers and radically increase your marketplace output by increasing mind stimuli. And that's also why sex is just an amazing way to do it too. It's the most, the most intense and powerful of all the stimuli. So a great combination um, with sex is manifestation magic. I would highly recommend you check that out. It's super, super powerful content. I'll have all of that links below. It's super cool. So with that said, let's move on. We'll talk about compassion and then Further elaborate on these mental vibrations. Compassion is necessary. It's the foundation for the proof of the statement that transmission of sex energy may lift one to the status of genius. Let's go into what a genius is, right? A genius a person discovers how to... This is, this is a big definition, so please focus on this definition. Someone who can... Discover how to increase here's the point, here's the kicker. Discover how to increase the vibrations. A thought to the point where they can freely communicate with, with the sources, sources of knowledge, not available through ordinary rate of vibration of thought. You can get with all sources of knowledge, including, you know, you got the state, right? So in this low state, you might have low energy waves, right? This would be low, 
so be, be high vibration. And like, like I, I said, that manifestation of magic, they actually have a presentation. If you click and you check out that video below, in that video, he'll actually break down this concept for you, which is awesome. And it talks about this shift with high and low vibrations and how everything you want is right here in high vibrations. And you, you have, have to overcome the negativity, you have to overcome the crap that doesn't matter and low vibrations and focus on increasing your internal vibrations to get to this state of growth right here and have massive, massive genius growth, right? This is how you become a genius. It's all about increasing vibration. Very powerful. Um, like I said, Manifestation Magic, magic. Super, super cool stuff. stuff. And that presentation is actually going to explain this concept and uh, how to increase it to get a maximum impact and get exactly what you want from the world, which is awesome, all right? Get you going through the path to fulfill your secret formula goal. You might ask, how can you communicate with sources of knowledge that are not available through the ordinary rate of vibration of thought? Simple point is that there are known sources of knowledge which are only available to geniuses. These are the realms of the infinite intelligence in your subconscious. Sources are shown throughout. You know, we've talked about them before and we're going to continue to talk about them. That's actually a big focus of the next chapter. So powerful um, that I think it's better if we look at the examples that he'll talk about. And that's what he does too. Is he says, through proof of experimentation, we'll look at both of those. So, with that said, let's move on. We're going to go over to the sixth sense, and then we'll finalize this module on that concept. So, the sixth sense. This is the key to developing genius. Cool stuff. I'm a genius. Bubble up your sixth sense. The reality is the sixth sense. It was fairly well established. The sense of creative imagination. That we talked about earlier, right? right? Versus synthetic. Excuse me. The value here is that the majority of people never use this during their entire lifetime. I'd say 99% of people never access this. So, so if you, you can, can just take control of your imagination, your imagination, a really great way to do this is, is to combine manifestation magic, some of these concepts, and sex transmutation to increase your vibrations. Once you have increased your vibrations, meditation, like I talk about over with the daily journal, stuff like that, over in the general membership area, meditation is going to allow you to like take in the rewards, take in the value. So what you're doing right is you would be increasing, say we have a pool, right? Okay, remember this pool, it's a green pool. We can fill it with water, right? So we can fill a very, very large portion of this pool with water due to sex transmutation, right? And then we can fill even more of it with increasing your vibrations. through sound. And then, then we can, can fill, fill even more of it with, let's, let's see, positivity, right? right? I mean, it's, it's practically, practically overflowing if you can, can master these three core ways to, to increase the vibrations of your mind. mind. But, but here's the deal, right? You want to still be able to actually withdraw, right? So, so this is like depositing money in a pool, pool filling up, uh, depositing money in a bank, filling up a pool with water. You can deposit a bajillion dollars, but it won't really turn it into its physical equivalent. Um, at least with, with yeah, I don't know, when, when you're watching, watching this video, maybe all the banks crashed and the world ended and everyone uses cryptocurrency for everything, which would be freaking awesome. Um, but, but at least for right now, if you want to withdraw, you know, stacks of $100 bills, you have to go to the ATM, you have to go to the teller and ask to withdraw the money. Same thing in a pool. Say you're really, 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 really thirsty and you want to drink all this water. You've got to go to the pool, get, you know, a really, really big straw, maybe you have like a bucket, and you have to fill that bucket with the pool water, right? You have to start drinking from the pool. So, if you, if you want to start, start drinking from the pool of knowledge that you've created in your mind, 
one of the best, best ways to do that, that is to meditate. Meditation is like withdrawing money from, from the bank. bank. Give yourself, yourself 10, 10, 15 odd minutes. minutes. And you, you can, can access, access, right? Because this, this is building strength in your infinite, infinite intelligence. intelligence. Bam. So, so when, when you're building strength in your infinite, infinite intelligence, intelligence, you want to be able to use meditation as a way to withdraw that strength. So meditation is what lets you start to, to just sip up a little bit of this water, just a little, little bit of that water into your meditation, and all of a sudden from there comes insane creative intelligence, creative imagination, and massive ideas that you've never thought of on your own, because, because you put, put in all this time and effort to develop and fill up your pool, fill up your mental bank account with, with these high vibrations, especially through sound, right? right? This, this is the concept. This is the pure basis of manifestation in the mind. Is you're letting your mind create its own solutions to solve your plan to get to your overarching long-term goal through the secret formula. So once you have your goal, when, when you feed your mind, mind with vibrations and energy, it allows it to create new ideas to fulfill your plans. A great example of this, this morning, I'm thinking about how I'm going to fulfill this funnel, how I'm going to create this whole book atmosphere, and have a complete environment of complementary products and services that maximize the amount of value that my clients get from this training. And I was thinking how I could add a ridiculous amount of value in some key influencers' lives and use those relationships as a fundamental basis for being an affiliate for the products and then sharing you know, their general sphere of influence in the world because it's super, super powerful content and just getting their content out there in a way that makes sense for everybody involved. And so to do that, I'm looking at ways I can add value in their lives. And and I was just sitting around, this morning I was just reading, reading, you know, pre-reading and, and make sure you got all the stuff ready for today's lesson. And, you know, I just had this urge, I had this thing, I was right after I meditated. I had this idea. I was like, whoa, what's going on? I can freaking do this. And I planned out this mind map of what I want to do precisely in, I don't know if you can see it because it's probably going to mess up my face. But it's basically a game plan for exactly how I want to set up this, this, uh, this, this website, website. build this website, website for this guy, guy to add a ridiculous amount of value to the products and services he offers, right? And then use that as a fundamental backbone and a tool for creating a long-term relationship of sharing information and sharing education and sharing content that I know changing people's lives because I've personally gone through the programs and they personally had massive, massive impact on me. And I want to share that. In, in a, uh, in a way, way that helps everybody and it allows growth, growth and allows specifically, specifically right, like reinvestment in advertising dollars to get more and more and more, more people to that end goal of massive success in their lives. So, so just, just remember, once you start, start to meditate, meditate you're, you're going to be withdrawing on the banks that are constantly being filled up again and again and again, and again through the power of sex transmutation, through the power of manifestation magic, through the power of sound, through the power of life positivity. Super cool stuff. Don't forget, forget to rave, rave and, and absolutely crush it. it. You're, You're going to increase all of this happiness and all this positivity that fills up your mental bucket and allows you to withdraw to pay dividends for the rest of your life. Just, just a system. system. Just, just keep, keep doing, doing it. Keep doing it. You're going to start popping out ideas left and right. You have so much stuff to do. All of a sudden, you've got to have a team behind you. All of a sudden, you have to have growth behind you. So much so that it fuels expansion and it fuels success to your overarching long-term goal. Very powerful content. Very powerful, powerful, genius-like state. And it all comes from your ability to fuel yourself with high vibrations and use them as the basis for your growth and for your mental idea development. Very cool stuff. So with that said, uh, yeah, yeah, so, so anyway, 99% of people, people never do that. that. 
never, never even start doing, doing that. So, so you're, you're going to be ahead of everybody, everybody if you even just do like a fraction of what I just said. You do all of it, you're going to be freaking gold, dude. It's, it's insane. insane. It's so crazy. Um, which, which is great. great. So, so yeah. yeah. At least now you know about it. Most people don't even know about it for their entire lifetime. And they all have sex transmutation, but it just happens without them knowing it. So now you know what's going on. And remember, guys, where focus goes, focus goes. Energy flows. So, so if you focus, focus on something, you can improve it, right? If you focus on only improving your monthly income for seven straight, straight months, then you'll probably, probably improve your monthly income. It's not. It's, it's just about focus. focus. Just, just have, have a divine, divine purpose. purpose. Align, Align it with your long-term goal, and, and you can, can make it happen with the liberation. Um. Yeah, yeah I can probably fit the liberation. The liberation and purposeful. Thought. This, this is what's going to allow you to use that creative imagination. Allow you to voluntarily use it, master its functions, functions, and turn yourself into a genius. genius. Damn, that's, that's the power. Because creative, creative imagination, like you guys know, is a direct link between the human's conscious mind, finite mind, and the infinite intelligence. Also called revelations. Sparks. Realizations. Insights. Inspirations. Every single discovery, a new basic principle in a field, or an invention, takes place through the creative imagination. And every single thing here has a massive, 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 massive impact on the marketplace. Super cool. When things flash in your mind, when you have a hunch, when, when you, you have, have this interesting, you just can't, can't explain it, but you know you got to do it. That's, That's the power of the creative mind. mind. That's the power of the infinite intelligence. intelligence. And uh, why, why manifestation is so huge, right? Because, because you, you want, want to increase your ability to build up fuel for that creative mind. mind. You want to increase your ability to know exactly what you're doing. doing. And the best way to do it is to... Focus, focus on, on more, one or more of these four key sources to massive, massive, massive creative intelligence and creative, creative imagination. So, so let's, let's go over those, those four, and then we're going to leave, leave it at that, that for today. That was really, really great stuff, and this is a lot of stuff to get through. Um, um, I want you guys to digest it. I want you guys to understand it. I want you guys to make it freaking work. All right? Sound cool? Great. So... Number, Number one. one. We'll do these in a cool blue. The infinite, infinite intelligence. There's, There's just no question about it. This is the basis. And this is achieved through meditation, through reflection, through a daily journal, stuff like that. It can allow you to come into connection with yourself. It can allow you to understand your achievements and accomplishments for gratitude, for growth, for self-discovery, all based on this idea that you're fueling your infinite intelligence and you're giving yourself the necessary food for thought to absolutely grow exponentially. Super powerful stuff. Number two, very similar, the subconscious mind. In, in which, which is stored every, every sense, impression, and thought impulse ever react that, that you've ever experienced, ever experienced. 
That's, that's so, so powerful. powerful. That's, that's so huge. huge. And, and it makes you remember, remember through any of the five senses, senses everything that comes in your body has an impact on your subconscious mind. mind. Everything, everything you hear, everything you say, everything you see on TV, everything you watch in the news, everything that you touch all has an impact, whether large or small, on the subconscious mind, whether you know it or not. Your brain constantly filters out stuff that it doesn't care about. I'm like completely ignoring all of the books in these bookshelves, I'm ignoring the TV behind this camera, I'm ignoring the sounds like from outside, from other places. I'm just focusing on you because I want you to grow my way to succeed. You have that same ability. You're probably tuning out a couple of other things. Maybe you're multitasking right now. Maybe you're on the toilet. I don't know. Hopefully you're here at the computer or something. Um, but, but you could be focusing on this video, you could be focusing on this module, and there's a ton of stuff around you that you're tuning out, but all of that has an impact on your subconscious mind. So think, right? Like how does maybe the way that your family treats you, maybe the way you treat others, maybe the way that you hold yourself, the way you groom yourself, the way that you make up your room, the way that you live, you know, cleanliness, messiness, focus versus lack of clarity. Every little thing has an impact on your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind takes everything in. So remember, it's like you're trying to mold, you know, clay, right? If you're gonna push your clay together, maybe you wanna stretch out. But if you keep pushing it together with negativity, is that gonna help you stretch out? No, you gotta surround yourself with positivity to expand your mind, expand your subconscious. Expanding that subconscious is going to have an immediate excuse me, impact on your ability to develop the infinite intelligence and it'll have the delayed results and the delayed uh, manifestation physically in your conscious mind and in your actions. So you got to focus on this. Use it as a tool for growth. Make sure you know exactly what you're feeding your subconscious mind and give it the right information to succeed. Give it the motivation that it desires. All right, number three. three. The, the mind, mind of some other person who has just released the thought or picture, picture of the idea or concept through conscious thought. thought. So, so this would be consciously. consciously interacting with others. So this, this would be stuff like teamwork, this would be stuff like group collaboration, uh, friendship talks, you know, just, just general work with other people. Um, whatever you're doing, you take like consciously work with other people, consciously interact with other people, and use that as a form of growth. You know, that's going to have an impact. We talked about this earlier, right, but this is that principle of the average of fives. This, this idea, idea that the people, people that you spend the most time around, top five people, if all of them are wealthy, you're probably going to be wealthy. If all of them have great table manners, you're probably going to have great table manners. So the idea that people you spend the most time around with, the most time with consciously, the people you talk with the most, people you interact with the most, people that you go to lunch with the most, people that you grow with the most, the people that you spend the most time with, will turn into you through manifestation. So, so make, make sure, sure you're spending your time with the right people. Okay? And try, try to find five of those right, right people and then try to spend as much time as you are feasibly able to um, with the people that are going to make you grow, they're going to make you succeed, they're going to make you exponentially better as a human being. Very powerful, powerful stuff. And, and it links over to number four. And our final one is the other person's subconscious storehouse. This is others' subconscious. Subconscious is. Right? So, this is that idea of the mastermind, right? You can see this over and over and over. That if you have a group of people and they're, you know, talking, whatever, right? But there's this idea. That even if, you know, even if you're not a mastermind, but it's the same principle, right? Is that 
mental ways, right? They can communicate and they can connect and the brains can form this mastermind above everyone. This mastermind is going to combine these subconscious thoughts. They're going to combine the infinite intelligence of everyone involved and then have an immediate impact on your conscious mind from that, right? It happens in all masterminds. It happens in reality. The impulses of thought, the subconscious manifestations, remember, the thoughts turn into their physical reality when given belief and conviction. So it's the same thing with masterminds, the same thing with subconscious conversation, right? This idea that if you form this third mind between two people, if you form a mastermind, the subconscious is of everyone involved are going to have a massive impact on change, on growth, and on success. It's all based on this concept that everything spreads, everything grows through a collection of the people that are around you and their subconscious and their conscious, their energies, their actions, their emotions. Because everything's based on that internalization of the growth. There are no other known sources from which inspired ideas or hunches can be received. These are the basis factors of the creative imagination, which functions best when the mind is vibrating due to some form of mind stimuli at an exceedingly high rate. That is, when the mind is functioning at a rate of vibration higher than that of ordinary, normal thought. Bam! So powerful. So powerful. So please, 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 take your mind, check out the Manifestation Magic course below. Use this stuff, radically, radically increase your internal vibrations and uh, use every tool possible to do it because it'll have the biggest impact on your life possible. With that said, I'm going to go listen to some Manifestation Magic. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hope you got a ton of value from this. Go out there, take it in, and absolutely crush it. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next module.